what if God doesn't do the thing that you want him to do the most? What if you don't get married by a particular age? What if you, you don't get the dream job that you, you've been working for? What if you don't get the, the, the family, the relationship, the support, the, the love that you, you've been working for? Are you still going to serve God? What if you don't get the material things? Are you still going to serve God? Are you still going to have that faith in God to keep on pressing, to keep on believing, to wake up another day and to keep on believing and hoping in God? always ask yourself that question what if what i am hoping for it doesn't happen especially many young single christians who are hoping for marriage what if you reach a particular age and the marriage doesn't come forth are you still gonna serve god it is hard to come to that place to ask yourself that question but it's important to come to that place and make peace with the answer Make peace with answer to say that even whatever it is, nothing is more profitable to me than God. Nothing is more beneficial to me than knowing that at the end of the day, God is with me. And that is all that matters. Even if I don't have the relationship, even if I don't have the, the material possession, the jobs, the this, the that, whatever it might be. Once I have God, it is enough and it should be enough because my hope is not in this world it's not in this life it's not in the things of this world but it is in my vision is for it, it, my affection is not set on the things down here but my affection is, is set on the things above and so as believers as christians we also have to get to that place where you can always have an open heart be ready to let go of whatever it is and this is a, a major topic but be always be ready to let go of whatever it is don't hold on to anything too tightly because trust me sometimes you will lose things the relationship that you think that god even put you in that god rd and you see everything work now you get the dream the vision the prophecy everything and even that very relationship you can't end up lose it at the end of the day and if you're not careful you lose god with the with, with the loss you lose God with, 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 and, and it should not be so. Sometimes you can literally be doing all of the right things, be serving God wholeheartedly, just like how Job was serving God in spirit and in truth and he lost everything. And so we always have to bear this in mind that not because things don't happen the way that you want it to happen, the timing that you want it to happen, that doesn't mean that God is on your side. So hi guys so today i'll be talking about the whole concept of having faith and what to do when you encounter disappointments and when god says no you cannot be a christian without having faith the bible says it is impossible to please god without faith and when god said that like legit he was being very serious faith is the whole basis of christianity i believe you will have disappointment you will reach up on situations that discourage you that kind of just kill and dampen your faith things will happen sometimes it is that you're expecting god for a blessing you're expecting god to come through in a particular way to work out a particular situation and it doesn't happen and i think a lot of people they walk away from god when the idea of what they had in mind doesn't happen the timing of what they expected the thing to work out in this particular time and it never worked out in that time and so you become disappointed disappointed and sometimes disappointment can cripple your faith disappointment can literally cripple your faith i've been in that place where i have been hoping praying sometimes even sometimes people have gotten words of prophecy sometimes people have gotten words from god you have a dream you have a vision for something you believe that god is on board in this vision you believe that god is saying yes this is going to happen for you or yes this this thing is going to happen in this particular time or in this particular way and it does not happen and as a christian that can literally cripple you it can cripple your faith in god it can because I've reached that place already where you question and you wonder like, am I even a Christian? Like, if you're, if you're praying to God about something and you feel like God is leading in a particular direction and then when you reach that place, the whole thing happening the way you expected or happening the time that you expected it doesn't happen. And you wonder in yourself, you begin to question yourself. You begin to question your relationship with God. You begin to question even God to say like, is God even hearing me? Is God even real? Things like this happen and we have as christians i think we have to be mindful especially some persons who are anticipating for their life to go a particular way some persons are living their life 
when you're younger it's like you have a passion you have a drive to serve god you have a passion to say yes this is going to happen i'm gonna serve god and especially for those persons who are serving god sincerely wholeheartedly sometimes you might feel that because i'm doing the hundred you expect god to do the full hundred in your life as well in the way that you want and bear this in mind not because the thing doesn't happen the way that you anticipated that doesn't mean that god isn't in it our God isn't involved in your life and God doesn't have full control over your life because God is not man. God doesn't think like us. The word that God said in Isaiah, I think 55, um, 50, I'm not sure, Isaiah um, 49 or 55, I don't remember exactly. His thoughts are not our thoughts. We have a limited vision. We can only see so much more. We see that, yes, we want this thing to happen in our life. Yeah, we want to have that career. We want to have that job. We want to have that relationship in this time. And we want to have this person. And we want to have this kind of job. I want to be doing this particular thing. But this might not necessarily be what God wants you to be doing in this time. And not because it isn't happening in this time. Doesn't necessarily mean that God is saying no. Doesn't necessarily mean that God doesn't care about you. Or God isn't hearing you. And doesn't necessarily mean that you are living a sinful life. Because this world, I think a lot of the time they teach the whole thing to say that if you do good, you know good will follow you. But if you do good, that doesn't necessarily mean mean that all good thing is just gonna fall in your lap especially as a believer sometimes we can get into the faith thinking that if you're a good christian good things should happen in your life and then when you reach to the situation now and you reach the point now at the, at the road and you come to this intersection where what you anticipated has not happened what you planned has not happened your vision that you had has not happened uh, last night pastor was talking and he said that sometimes the part that we map out for ourselves is not the part that god has mapped out for us and so the journey and where we anticipate our life to be the things that we anticipated that we would be doing Sometimes it just doesn't happen the way that you want it to happen and that does not that can kill you and crush your feet and just make you want to just give up as a Christian because you're saying like what is the point? What is the point if I'm gonna be doing all of this? And sometimes if uh, sometimes yes people you do things sinful things and it cause you to be kicked off uh, out of line with your purpose, it causes you to be kicked off track. But sometimes you can literally be doing all of the right things, be serving God wholeheartedly, just like how Job was serving God in spirit and in truth, and he lost everything. And so we always have to bear this in mind, that not because things don't happen the way that you want it to happen, the timing that you want it to happen, that doesn't mean that God is on your side, that doesn't mean that God has a plan. Because maybe even all, as Romans 8 verse 28, one of my very favorite scriptures, that all things work together for our good, to him that love God and to him that are called to his purpose. And so you have to bear in mind, it is God's purpose, it is his plans, it is not how we vision things to be, it is not how we... Uh, um anticipate things to be and so if you live your life as a christian thinking that oh because i am not having sex because i am not going out of my way doing bad stuff that means that therefore this thing should happen in this time and in this way no that is not the way you will become disappointed and when you reach that place you become discouraged and you're not be you're not discouraged in the fact that all right the thing don't work out sometimes you're discouraging god thinking that god not doing what he said he would do when God never did make that bargain with you to even begin with, God never told you that this was the part that he, he, he planned out for you to take. God never told you that this was how he wanted your life to be because God works in different ways to accomplish his purpose. Because you think that, okay, my career being in this position is going to be beneficial to me in this way. And that is going to be better for me. But what if God takes away certain things out of your life, remove certain things out of your life so that at the end of the day, he can accomplish his own purpose and that at the end of the day, his glory can come forth out of all of these things, right? And so we always have to bear this in mind that don't set up yourself necessarily for disappointment either. Always have room in your heart and in your mind that you know what, at the end of the day, God, even as Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Nevertheless, not what I had in mind. I always have to get back to that basis. 
when disappointment come get back to that place to say you know what god yes i wanted this thing i was hoping for this thing i was anticipating for this things happening in my life but it has not happened but nevertheless not what i want not what oh I, and this is also applicable for non-believers as well not it's not all about how you don't just train the tool because something that you were you were working for something that you were working towards it it didn't happen in the way that you, it happened you wanted it to happen don't just throw in the towel and to think that life is over. Maybe your life is just beginning because God is able, God is God enough to be able to use every single aspect of your life and the things that are even the most disturbing and the things that you find evil, most detestable. Like these are the things that God is able to use to bring out his greater purpose, to show forth his power, to show that even when this person felt like they were failing at life even when everything seemed as it was out of whack it was chaotic i was even in the midst of that i was able to demonstrate my power i was able to come forth to come through in a powerful and in a magnificent way so at the end of the day i have grown i think so to to come to the place where i hold everything where i make room in my heart for everything so to to basically to go so i make room in terms of holding on to things i don't hold on to things too closely but i always make room in my heart to hold on to god the closest so that comes up me when if if you don't get the thing that you've been praying for fasting for whatever it might be at the end of the day say you know what god as long as i have you and it is it is a hard thing to do and to see and to really commit to but it is important and it is necessary because trust me as a christian things are not gonna always happen the way that you envision things are not gonna always work out the way that you planned things are not always gonna be the way that you anticipate and so you always have to make room in your heart to lose stuff to lose even the friendship yes it will hurt it will be painful but at the end of the day uh you always have to make room in your heart not just live your life with a, a, a one-track mind but say that this is it this is what i want if i don't get it don't think if and you're not thinking about the possibility that if i don't get it then what next always make room in your heart for god to do whatever he wants to do for god to take out whatever things he wants to take out regardless of how painful that process is make room in your heart for god to do whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it i hope this video was beneficial in whatever way and hope to see you in the next one bye